Hi everyone, welcome to Java Techie. In this tutorial, I will guide you how to deploy an Angular application in Kubernetes cluster. Okay, so first we need to create an Angular application. Then we'll build Docker image of that Angular application using Docker file. Once our Docker image is ready, then next we need to deploy our application to the Kubernetes cluster. So for that, as usual, we need to create deployment and service object of Kubernetes. With this deployment object, we are telling to Kubernetes, pull my Angular Docker image and run it inside Kubernetes pods. Similarly, by creating this service object, we do inform to the Kubernetes that expose my application to outside of Kubernetes cluster. So these are the basic steps we need to follow. Even we do the same while deploying our Spring Boot application to Kubernetes, right? So without any further delay, let's quickly create a new Angular project. Then we'll deploy that particular project to Kubernetes cluster. So let's get started. So let's quickly create a new Angular project. Let me go to the Visual Studio code. Then you know the command how to create Angular project, right? So I can just fire a command ng hyphen g, then new, give your project name. So I'll just give ng hyphen k it is example. Okay. It will take few seconds to create a new project. Would you like to use Angular routing? No at this time. So just enter the CSS. It will take few seconds. You can observe here package installed successfully. It created the Angular project. Now let me move to that particular directory. Go to the Angular folder. Then ng k it is example. Okay. Let me open this. Fine. Now let's go inside the app directory. In app.component.ts, I will just add some custom message. So I'll just add a message angular application deployed to Kubernetes cluster ok now the same message I just want to display in this HTML file ok go to app.component.html there is few predefined template I don't want to add all so we'll remove that so yeah, this is the title. I'll just remove this suffix and also let me remove this. These are the predefined template we don't want. So we are good now. Now let me start my Angular application. So go to the terminal. We know the command to open the or to start the Angular application. So just fire ng serve double hyphen open. It will start your Angular application. Let me close all. It will take few seconds. Yeah, so you can see here we got the message. Compiled this successfully. Now if you go to the browser, here is our message. Angular application deployed to Kubernetes cluster. Now as per our understanding, we created the Angular application. Now the next step, we need to create a Docker file of our Angular application or we need to Dockerize this particular Angular application. So let's quickly create a Docker file. But before we create the Docker file, first we need to get the compiled file. Okay. So for that we just need to run the Angular build. So there is a command. You can generate the build. Let me clear this. ng build double hyphen prod. It will just create another folder called dist with all the pre-compiled file. Okay. So just enter it. Prod is deprecated. No need to use this option. Okay. Let it be. So you can see here build is succeed here. And now if you see there is a folder called dist inside this ng hyphen k it is example and all the pre-compiled file is present inside this particular dist folder. Okay. Now the next step we need to create a docker file. So I'll just create a docker file in root directory. I'll just give a name 
docker file okay it is present inside okay it's present outside okay now open this docker file let me minimize this and in docker file we just need to add these two from and copy already explain how you can dockerize your angular application you can check out my angular playlist for that so i'll just add it i just want from nginx this is what the version and particular dist folder copy all the pre-compiled file from this particular folder i'll just change the folder name so what is that dist ng hyphen k it is example ng hyphen k it is hyphen example so from this particular directory copy all the file and add it in a docker container that's what i just specify the copy here and this is what the from now we created this particular docker file so now the next step we need to create docker image for this particular application so for that before creating the docker image first let me open the terminal and let me start the minikube minikube start It will take few seconds to start your minikube. Once our minikube is up, then the next step we need to sync our minikube with local Docker repository. Okay, so for that we just need to fire the command eval command with minikube environment. So we'll do that. Let's wait it to complete first. So you can see here it started the minikube. Now to check that minikube status all the components are running mode okay now the next step we just need to sync our minikube with my uh, local docker repository so for that i'll just fire a command eval then just add a dollar symbol minikube specify the environment which is docker okay just enter it now we just need to move to this particular directory and we just need to create a docker image so i'll just go to cd desktop java techie code base angular then the project is ng k example okay let me clear everything so in this particular folder let me check we have the docker file yeah we have this docker file now i just need to build the docker image so i'll just fire a command docker build hyphen t then i'll give the image name so i already created this deployment and service you can give any name so i'll just use this so just go to the terminal this is where the docker hyphen k it is is my image name and the tag is 1.0 just add in root directory you can give any name okay guys let me change it ng hyphen docker hyphen k it is okay just enter it it will create a docker image so it's just started the download docker daemon sending build context to docker daemon it will take few seconds so you can see here it started the step one from ng inx okay and it's downloading that particular library and it executing the step 2 now yeah it copied all the uh, pre-compiled file inside dist folder to the docker container now to verify that whether docker image is created or not you can fire docker images now if i'll zoom this you can see this ng hyphen docker k it is is created so we are good now now what we can do let's go to the presentation so we just build docker file then the next step we need to create deployment and service object of kubernetes using yml configuration so that we can host this particular angular docker image to the kubernetes so for that i already created the uh, deployment and service object let me copy this configuration then insert the angular project go to the visual studio code I'll just create another file. I'll just name it ng-deployment. You can give any name. Dot. 
YAML you can give okay YAML you can give also YML file okay any any extension is fine just enter it and let me paste it then I will explain this so already I explained many times in Spring Boot example what is the purpose of this deployment object and service object so in this deployment object we are just telling to the Kubernetes take this particular docker image from my docker repository or from the docker hub and push it inside the uh, Kubernetes pods and also we are specifying the replica count this is the number of pods we will created in Kubernetes cluster and with this service object we are just telling to the Kubernetes expose my particular application as a service type node port so that a user can able to access this particular application using node IP and port ok and this is the port we specify 31000 so let me change the docker image name which is present in my docker repository that is let me check ng-docker-kts ok this is my docker image so when we will execute this file Kubernetes first execute the deployment object he will pull this particular image from my docker repo and will just execute that in the Kubernetes pods similarly this is what the service fine now just go to the terminal we just added the deployment and service object so let me expand this ok just add me enter let me clear this now we just need to apply that particular ng-deployment.yml file so just use kubectl apply hyphen f ng hyphen deployment dot yml file just enter it you can see here angular deployment created angular service also created because we just specified two object here deployment and service object that's what got created through this particular yml file now to verify that you can check kubectl get deployments So you can see here angular deployment and the um, pod count is 5 here you can see here all are running mode to verify that kubectl get pods you can see here there is total 5 pods because we created or we specify replica as 5 ok so that's the reason it created means same, um, uh, same uh, angular container is running on 5 different pod ok now to check that kubectl get sbc you can check the service here service type we exposed as node port and this is where the cluster ip ok and this is where the node port we specify 31000 you can see here 31000 now get the node ip and using this port 31000 you can access your angular application so just go to the terminal to get a node ip you can also use this minikube IP this is the same as your node IP or if you want to check your node IP what you can do kubectl get nodes hyphen o wide this is what your node IP ok just copy this IP go to your browser just copy this IP then your port is 31000 just enter it you can see here this is what your application it deployed in Kubernetes cluster and you are able to access it with the node IP and node port that is where the service we exposed right so this is how you can deploy your angular application to Kubernetes cluster so we recently understand how you can deploy your ng application to the Kubernetes and before that we also understand how we deployed our backend application to Kubernetes so in my next tutorial I will just combine both of them will deploy one full stack application spring boot and angular application in kubernetes cluster ok that's all about this particular video guys thanks for watching this video meet you soon with a new concept